boom shakalaka god is good <laughs> First thing I want to share with you guys is this thought for the week. I am wise, I am qualified, I am rich. We are worthy of wealth and prosperity. Legacy builders, let's keep this in mind as we move forward, okay? Thank you guys so much for coming back. Hey, legacy builders in the building, make sure to let me know that you're here. I am excited about March, so I am intentionally taking my time to talk and get through this video because <laughs> I might start singing I might start doing a little sing songy in my voice but I'm gonna do my best to get through this carefully because March is just looking like a great month honestly and we're saying it by faith and we're just looking at ahead and being hopeful for the future so March is abundant as my girl Latasha would say so let's get into the budget so this is for paycheck one on March 5th I don't know if you guys have noticed the days of this month are exact the exact match in February so March 5th is the first paycheck in February for, in March for us which is a Friday and February 5th was a Friday and so on and so forth if you check it out it's I've never seen it like that before just a little tidbit okay so the budget that we're going to use is eight hundred fifty three dollars and I put that as salary because that is a combination of what my what I bring in and what my husband brings in and this is the least amount okay so we are budgeting for eight hundred fifty three dollars I am leaving a space for rollover so we will see what happens okay and I pulled you in a little bit closer let me know how you like this setup okay the first thing we do you guys know right off of the top is our tithe and that will be $99 Next is rent. Put this aside every week, and that's $300. After that is our food, and that is $100. <gasps> Hold on, y'all. The baby took out all my papers. Let's continue. Something I want to show you guys, it's a new template for a weekly grocery and meal plan. I'm going to share that with you in just a few minutes so you guys can see how we're going to stay on food budget all right Geico and that is our car insurance carrier that is due on the first it comes out automatically from our credit card and we always budget $62 prime then all of our bills are paid using the credit card just in case you haven't been here before Prime is due on the first and we budget $15. Next is our gas heat. That is due on the fifth, Friday. And that will be $50. Then we have our electricity. That is due on the sixth and we budget for $50. The bill I think is actually less I will come back and confirm it on Friday once we pay the bill, which is actually paying back the credit card. Okay, so now we're going to total our bills for this week. 99 plus 300 plus 100 plus 62 plus 15 plus 50 plus 50 is 577 dollars for our bills. Then we subtract that from our budgeted income that leaves us with $276 to work with so we're going to bring that down here as our leftover and we are going to put money into our envelopes which for us is household and then we also have a miscellaneous cash envelope my husband and I both have our own separate accounts where we spend money from so every time we get money, we spend it however we want. 
I tend to save more. So I still have a lot of my spending money in an account. So if I want to buy something for myself or go somewhere, do something for myself, I have the ability to do it because I have the funds to do it. I just don't always do that, especially because of this pandemic that's going on. I haven't been out to get my eyebrows threaded or my nails done or anything just out of my own precaution and safety. But as things are seemingly looking up and we seem to be getting back to some sort of normalcy, um, as long as it's safe, I will resume some of those same self-care things just wanted to put that out there in case anybody was wondering why there's no spending money and all of that I do have spending money my husband does have spending money you know we just don't budget for that right now okay sinking funds is next and we are going to still fund my PC in life we are still going to budget for the vehicle insurance sinking fund and that's going to be it for sinking funds we are going to put some money towards the 52 week challenge and our emergency fund. So our envelope total, $50 is our envelope total. That leaves us with $226 remaining to work with. So now for our sinking funds, we have $226 that we carried over. $20 will go here, $20 will go there for a total of $40. We have $186 left to work with. I'm gonna put this calculator here so you guys can follow along. We're not going to budget anything for um, extra debt or debt snowball now, but you guys stay to the end because I'm gonna share with you about the March Madness Money Savings Challenge that we are doing. And I am going to be saving up money in that challenge so I can throw an extra debt or a snowball um, at the end of the month so stay tuned okay so we're not budgeting for this for this paycheck we are going to be left with $186 let's try that again did I mess up again uh oh I did it again y'all what is going on here $177 left over. So I did it wrong. 99 plus 300 plus 100 plus 62 plus 15 plus 50 plus 50 is 676. I'm sorry. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I pre planned you guys. You know, you know, I pre planned, but sometimes you make mistakes. Progress, not perfection. Okay, so the total that we have for our bills is $676, okay? All right, our bill total is $676. So when we subtract that from the $853 we started with, we're left with $177 to work with. Subtract the $50 from that amount and we get $127 left to work with. We carry that up. $127 minus 40, $87 left to work with. I was tripping, I was tripping, I was tripping for a minute there. Okay, for our savings, our extra savings, $21 is the savings challenge. That's the 52-week challenge. We put our own spin on it, $21 for 2021, every single week for the entire year. Our emergency fund will get the remaining $66. This adds up to 87, 21 plus 66. That means... Our extra savings total is budgeted for $87 and we have $0 left over to budget. Let's give one final check to our numbers. Our bill total is $676. Our digital envelopes is $50. Our sinking funds is $40. 
our extra savings is $87. We have a zero base budget, y'all. Boom, shakalaka. God is good. <laughs> y'all remember that video? <laughs> All right, y'all, that is our zero base budget. Let me show you guys the envelope. March Madness, if you haven't seen it on Instagram, if you have not seen it, the other videos, remember to check the description box. So each week at the end of the pay week, whatever is left over from our budget or in my checking account, we are going to put that money aside I'm gonna randomly choose a number you guys are gonna see how I do that on Saturday and don't forget it is a giveaway you guys there is a giveaway so the giveaway starts from March 1st through March 6th and the winner will be announced on March 7th for all of the details and to download your free printable envelope if you choose please check the description box this is available on rochelle rochelleadamson.com this was created by the lovely and wonderful wander print creations so don't forget to check it out and also if you want to be entered into the giveaway this first week we are going to be giving away money. It's a cash prize, but you need to be following and subscribed to my channel and all of the channels listed here on the screen and also in the description box to enter. Make sure you do that. And also follow us on Instagram. Make sure that you um, are telling us how much you're going to be saving and what you're going to be saving for. Again, I am putting any extra money we have aside into this envelope using some prop money, okay, that I purchased from Amazon. So you'll be seeing that, but I am a digital budgeter, meaning I keep all of our sinking funds and envelopes in savings accounts. So at the end of the month, I'm going to share with you guys how much we've actually saved that means how much of a debt snowball am I going to be able to throw towards my student loans? That is the goal. So, all right, you guys, look what I have here. It is a sample of a weekly grocery and meal plan for the week of March 1st, 2021. Okay, now our budgeted amount every week for groceries is $100. So I created this template that you can use either in Excel or you can print it and reuse it as much as or as often as you want. There are two versions of this. I believe it's important to at least take one day, one day a week where there's no cooking involved, no thinking, no anything. So the week starts with Sunday and it goes through Friday. Saturday is the only day missing, but there, the second version will start with Monday and then with Saturday and Sunday is missing. So you still have an extra page to use, you know, to set up your grocery plan and your meal plan, okay? Or your grocery list. So this is exactly what I normally would use inside of this notebook here. You guys have seen this before several times. It's not pretty, it's what I actually use. Like this is how I set up the list and I carry it with me in the store. So for this week, we plan on leftovers on Sunday, okay? Um, and Sunday really starts the week for us, so this would be February 28th. On Monday, salmon cakes, Tuesday, shrimp curry, Wednesday, turkey burgers, Thursday will be leftovers, and Friday will be pizza. Saturday is pretty much a free-for-all day. What we might do, which is something we, we do sometimes, is have breakfast, for the day like if I make a brunch and we'll eat that or eat cereal or whatever it is sometimes that's just the reality of how things go so based on this meal plan though with the salmon cakes the shrimp curry and the turkey burgers I know what type of meat I need to pick up so besides the essentials milk water 
um, even the extras I have written down here, cheese and yogurt, brownies, snacks for the kids. I know that I am going to plan on purchasing salmon, purchase shrimp, purchase ground turkey, purchase frozen pizza. And then we need our produce, right? So our fruits for the week will be bananas and strawberries. Usually between two bunches of bananas and a package of strawberries, if we can get a really good deal, it'll be about $9 for both. Vegetables, okra and spinach, based on my previous shopping trips, the two should cost about $12. So that should work out just fine. And then the extras, let me calculate how much that would cost. $8 for brownies, $8 for the six containers of yogurt, and then $5 for two packages of shredded cheese, $21. I may use cheese in the salmon cakes. I might even use it to add to the pizza, to the turkey burgers, or even make macaroni and cheese because we have a good hefty pantry right now the pantry is stocked full of pasta we have rice we have all of those things we have our curry powder for the shrimp curry we have all of our seasonings already so stocking up is is what helps us stay under our budgeted amount so we're going to do our best here be very intentional and then when i come back i'll write in all of the actuals and how much i was able to earn from rebates like um, fetch rewards ibotta and also rewards that points that I collect from the store or that I use because the store that I shop at mostly they give one dollar for every 100 points you get off of your balance and I saved up all of the points I earned in February just so I could keep us under budget in March so this is our meal plan this is our grocery budget for the week and let me know what you guys think about this. This is going to be live on the website by the time you see this video and you can download it for a very low, low price. And again, it comes with two versions because one day of the week is not included on here. So you can have Sunday through Friday or Monday through Saturday. All right, and that is it for that. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video enough to give me a big thumbs up and let me know how your first week of March is going. Have you already set up your budget for your paychecks? If you get paid weekly, bi-weekly, or twice a month, however it is, please let us know. Remember, we are legacy building over here. So continue to mind your money, manage it well, and live your lives to the fullest. Bye for now.